Hello, I'm John McGrath. I'm a producer for Kansas City PBS, and today on Art House, we bring you the exciting new film, BF. BF was written and directed by Jamie Addison, and Art House talked to Jamie about the excitement of making her first film, Jamie's life as a working actress, and her mission as a filmmaker to create new stories from a different perspective. What is BF about? So I usually lead with it's a sci fi film about breastfeeding, and that makes people go, What? <laughs> really? <laughs> so it centers around a biotech firm that is basically exploiting the relationship between two best friends, one who's a new mom, um, so that they can ultimately recreate and mass produce breast milk. Um, they value it and they want to profit from the creation, uh, recreation of mother's milk. So it started because I was a new mom trying to breastfeed my daughter, Noah. I wanted to breastfeed. It's something that naturally happens for women. But for me, for some reason, it was really, really hard. I didn't feel really supported from a like mental health standpoint. I got a lot of negative feedback and comments from family and friends. One day, probably I think in the middle of the night, I'm like, oh, I have this weird idea. I'm going to turn this into a story. And so I started writing more notes about the story of BF the movie. And yeah, that turned into a script. And now we have a short film that everyone's able to enjoy. (laughs) The reason why I made it is because I wanted to normalize breastfeeding on screen. And so that's really what I hope. Like usually when you see it on screen, it's kind of like the butt of a joke or there's not really story centered around breastfeeding. And so that's what I hope to see is like, just to normalize breastfeeding. Um, that's the, the ultimate goal. When people walk away from this story, just to say, hmm, that was interesting, that was different, that was a fresh concept, a fresh take on something that's been a staple in motherhood and life for forever, right? Um, so I hope that it's refreshing. I, I, I laugh and say, yeah, people either get it and they love it or they're like, when did I just watch? And they, and they hate it. And it's okay either way because it makes you think and it starts a conversation either way. And I think that's the purpose of art is for you to at least think about what you, what you just consumed. Yeah, everyone's from Kansas City. We shot it here in Kansas City. Amazingly talented cast and crew. Whole process, it began with my amazing friend and mentor, Lanita Cook. Her contribution to the whole process was invaluable, and she's one of the producers on the project as well. The film community in Kansas City is amazing. Like I said, with with me, you don't have to... You don't have to know it all. Just, you know, have the right people around you. And that's what the Kansas City film community is. It's like we all get together to make good art. I would not have been able to do this without community, without the the Devontae Browns, without the Ryan Jingles, without the Charles Wiltness Whitmills, without the Morgan Coopers, without amazing actress actresses and actors. I mean, they all came together and surrounded me with love and support. Yeah, there's always something going on where you can learn. So if you're interested in learning and you know putting your foot in the water, you can do it here in Kansas City. One time and it's done. One time. You got one time, but no more. You've made a living as an actress. Tell people about that. Some of the films you've been in, some of the local stuff that you've been here as an actress. Yeah, so like I said, I worked with Devontae Brown in his short film, Bye. That was an amazing opportunity. I just got to do everything that I can to get him back to his normal life. You said you attended the, the Bird Watch Film Festival. And the winner is Jamie Addison. Yeah! When I actually won an award in Bird Watch Film Festival for my work in Bye. Thank you, Devontae, uh, so much for this wonderful opportunity to tell such an important story.
Morgan Cooper, who's an amazingly talented director out of Kansas City, and you see videos. You gotta shoot spec work to show potential clients the type of work you wanna get hired to shoot. He's also someone who I was able to call and he, you know, reached out to me and supported me in my work with BS. So I'm incredibly grateful for him. He's always been a pleasure and run incredibly respectful um, sets when I've worked with him. So shout out to him. Um, I work with Ryan Ginga on a couple of projects, uh, one of which is gorgeous. Is it the American dream or the American nightmare? The grand American experiment or the grand American hypocrisy? Which is a, a piece that he wrote to kind of talk about the, the racial issues and tones of America. So it's a visual poem that I really, really love that he uh, wrote and produced. Yes, I am a Black woman filmmaker. That's the perspective that I bring. That's what I represent. And that's who I'm trying to pull along with me because I need other Black women who can relate to our position, relate to our stories, relate to our skin and our makeup, our hair. It was work for us, for the team to find Black women, hair and makeup artists in film. So Kennedy was her first time on a set and I told her that I need you to be successful because I'm an actress and there's been too many times that I've sat down in the hair and makeup chair and people didn't know what to do with me. And I actually told the artist, I'm like, I don't like this. <laughs> it, didn't, it did not look nice and people don't know how to work with our skin. And so back to the moment, one of my favorite moments was sitting at a table with black women on my production and one of my inspirations is Issa Rae. And we talked about people creating the table. I told them in that moment, I'm like, look at us. We are creating the table. Like we are doing it. Black women, shout out to us for actually creating a table for us to work and grow together.